I hope uh, everyone's having a great afternoon, um, or a, have, you have a start, the start to a lovely evening. We're going to get into lesson eight. I think you guys will enjoy it. We are going to be adding and subtracting mixed numbers, um, and we're going to be using a number line to kind of explore our thinking, so it's uh, pretty visual. And it's going to be, I think, pretty straightforward. So you guys have earned kind of a, a peaceful lesson after working so hard on our mid-module celebration of learning. So without further ado, let's do this. Okay, guys, let's look at C here. Uh, we are going to be adding five and two, pl two fifths plus, uh, well, we're adding five and two fifths to two and three fifths. So what we're going to do uh, in lesson eight is we're going to start with something called a blank number line, meaning I'm not labeling all of the increments. Um, I am going to label what we're starting with or where we're starting, we're starting at zero. So we're going to add our first, add our whole numbers first. So we're going to jump five spaces. When we jump five spaces, uh, if we start at zero, uh, we are going to land at five. Okay, and then we're going to jump two spaces. If we jump two whole spaces from five, thank you, Manu. We're going to end at seven. And now let's add our fifths. I'm going to go ahead and label my next whole number increment as eight. And since we're working with fifths, I'm going to divide the space between seven and eight into hopefully five even spaces, one, two, three, four, five. So we're at seven, now we're going to jump two fifths, okay, which leaves us at seven and two fifths, but we still need to add our three fifths. So here we are at seven and two fifths and we're going to add three more fifths. One, two, three, a th jump of three fifths is going to land us at an even eight. So we've used our number line here to support our thinking and we found that five and two fifths plus two and three fifths is equal to eight. Cool, so pretty straightforward. Um, let's look at subtraction. I'll go ahead and just clear that. Okay, kiddos, let's look at this subtraction. Um, we are going to, again, use the number line to um, record our thinking or just support our thinking. And we're going to use, this number line is going to look a little different because um, we're not adding in D, we're actually subtracting, as you guys can see. So we're looking at four minus two and two sevenths. So with uh, the first example we looked at, we started at zero because we were adding two numbers together, but here we're actually starting with four, and then we're going to be moving backward because we're taking away from four. Uh, so we're starting at four, as you guys can see. We're going to hop backwards two whole numbers, if we hop backwards two whole numbers, we're going to land at two, because you guys know four minus two is two. And now we need to take away our two sevenths. So I'm going to go ahead and label uh, my next whole number, or the whole number that lives underneath two. And I'm going to divide the space in between one and two into seven, hopefully equal increments. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Great. So we're here at two, and we're going to hop backwards two sevenths. So I have one, two. We end up right here. So let's figure out what right here actually means. So it's one and one, two, three, four, five, seven. So four minus two and two sevenths is equal to one and five sevenths. So we're just using this number line to really support our thinking uh, when it comes to adding and subtracting uh, fractions. Let's look at, why is that my pen color changing? That's kind of annoying. 
let's try now. Let's look at one more subtraction. Problem, I think they might be, I mean, I don't feel like uh, less than eight we are, I don't think we're doing any rocket science, but I think it might be just a little bit, a little bit more tricky than addition. So here in F we're doing 17 minus 15 and two thirds. So we're going to start with 17 and then we're going to move backward on the number line. We're going to move this way to the left on the number line because we're taking away um, 15 and two thirds. So we're starting at 17. We're going to make a giant leap 15 whole spaces back here. What is here? If we were at 17 and we made a giant leap of 15, what number do we land at? Thank you, Maggie. We are at 2. And now we still need to take away 2 thirds, so I'm going to go ahead and mark 1. And I'm going to I'm going to divide the space between 1 and 2 into 1, 2, 3 equal spaces because our denominator is 3. And then we're going to make a leap backwards of 1, 2 thirds. So what number do we land in? We're at 1 and how many thirds? Well, just 1 and 1 third. So 17 minus 15 and 2 thirds is equal to 1 and 1 third. Brilliant. You guys see how we're using that number line to support our answers? Are we going to be using the number line forever? No, but here in lesson eight, we're just using this number line to really support our thinking um, and record our thinking as we're subtracting uh, fractions and adding fractions. Okay, kiddos, let's just look at one quick word problem uh, in lesson eight, and then we're going to be all done. The total length of two ribbons is 13 meters. If one ribbon is seven and five eighths of a meter long, what is the length of the other ribbon? Okay, so just a little bit of critical thinking here. Let's go ahead and draw a quick diagram representing the information that is given to us. Keep in mind this uh, diagram is not going to be proportional. This diagram is going to represent the length of two ribbons. We know um, that the total length of this lovely ribbon is 13 meters. We are given that uh, the length of one ribbon and the length of one ribbon is seven and five eighths of a meter and we need to figure out how long is this ribbon. So we have the total length, we have this chunk. How are we going to find out the um, length of the second ribbon? All we're going to do is 13 just as Madison is thinking as well. So all we're going to do is subtract 7 and 5 eighths from 13 and that's going to give us the length of the second ribbon. We're going to use our number line um, again, because in lesson eight we are using our number line to support our thinking um, and to record our thinking. So we're starting with 13 on our number line and then we are going to take away seven and five eighths. So here we are uh, at 13. We're going to make a giant hop backward. That giant hop is seven units long. So if we start at 13, we took a giant hop backward, where do we land? So we have to think about 13 minus 7. 13 minus 7. Anyone? Anyone? Thank you, Micah. 6. 13 minus 7 is 6. Uh, so that takes care of that. Um, now we have to take away our 5 eighths. So I'm going to have to mark... Uh, my next whole number increment as 5 and we're going to divide the space between 5 and 6 into 8 equal pieces. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that should give us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 equal pieces. So I'm going to hop back 5 eighths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we land right here. Let's figure out what number is right here. We know it's five and some. 
five and one, two, three eighths. That number line certainly comes in handy. Right now we have found that 13 minus seven and five eighths is equal to five and three eighths, which means that second ribbon is five and three eighths of a meter long. I told you guys lesson eight was going to be amazing. That's it for night. Uh, that's it for tonight. I will see you guys uh, Thursday for some more fun in Mathland. Thank you.